what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweaks video so before we get into the tweaks here uh, this is the the first run of tweaks that I installed on my 10s max uh, if you guys caught my previous video I recently updated this iPhone to 14.3 and I actually switched jailbreaks I'm normally an uncover user but I, I switched to Taurine and uh, I absolutely love this jailbreak um, I think it's my new favorite jailbreak. I, I really like how it feels. I love how smooth it is. I love how reliable it is. I love everything about this jailbreak. And uh, I know a lot of people are going to ask me what is better, Uncover or Taurine. And I'm going to tell you this. It's, you, you can't, no one person can decide but you. It's kind of like, should you get an iPhone or should you get an Android? It depends on what you think how do you like it my opinion doesn't really matter it's up to you to, to decide uh, so i will have videos on how you can switch from taurine to uncover and also switch from uncover to taurine uh, depending which way you guys want to go like i said it's it's really up to you to, to decide which you like better and for me personally i just like taurine better i don't know why it's more it just feels more modern it feels more new there's cool tricks you can do with it, like updating the jailbreak with a command. I think that that's freaking sweet. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave that video link in the description as well. And uh, I just think it's a really nice, well-rounded, very reliable jailbreak. Plus there's just kind of other things that are cool with it, um, like libhooker and stuff like that. Uh, details that I don't wanna get into, but for you guys to decide which jailbreak to get, this is how I'll put it to you and it might help you decide. So. Uncover is still a great jailbreak. It, I think it's awesome, you get Cydia. Taurine, amazing jailbreak, you get Cilio. So the difference between the two jailbreaks is Uncover, I would say, is more archaic and Taurine is more modern. So it depends on which style you wanna go with. No style is wrong, it's whatever style you prefer. I prefer Taurine. Now that kind of moves me along in this video a little bit. Um, because I'm actually not the biggest fan of Cilio. Cilio is a good package manager, don't get me wrong. Um, it operates just fine. It works great, of course, with the Taurine jailbreak because that's what it's meant for, but it's just a little too modern for me. And I have Zebra, and I absolutely love Zebra. Reason being is because, like I said, I think Cilio is a little too modern, and Cydia is a little too archaic for me. It's a little too old fashioned. And Zebra is like if Cilio and Cydia had a baby, it would be Zebra. It's kind of a good mixture of both. You get kind of like the archaic look and feel a little bit, and you also get it more modernized. So it's a mixture between the two. I love how fast Zebra is. I love how reliable it is. I love how many features it has. I think it's just the best package manager you can get. Now, speaking of it, as you guys can see, I have a stupid amount of repos and sources, like a dumb, <laughs> a dumb amount. Like it's kind of pointless, but honestly, there's a lot of cool things to find. So I decided to add them all. And we're gonna go ahead and refresh this list. I don't know how many I have. I wonder if I click edit, if it'll tell me. If I go to share it, uh, it doesn't tell me but it's a lot it's probably like around 100 repos or something like that but we're just going to go ahead and refresh it and i'll show you guys just how fast zebra is so just give it a couple of seconds and it's done literally like i mean it speaks for itself look how many repos there is if you had this in Cydia, you would be waiting like two minutes and even in C in cilio i think cilio is still slower than zebra as well so zebra is absolutely amazing now, for those of you that are going to ask about this repo list, this is actually from Elise in iHeaven. So in Repo Talk, the channel right there, you can find all of these repos here. And this is the freaking biggest list of repos I've ever seen anybody have. I can't believe there's this many repos. Um, as you can see, here's all the repos. There's a lot. So big shout out to Elise for having all of these because that's that's a, a ridiculous amount of repos. But like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of really cool stuff to find when you're jailbroken. Um, some of these repos might just have a couple of packages, but they might be something really, really cool. And you won't know until you add the repo and find it. So 
awesome list, amazing package manager with a plethora of really cool features uh, like app icon, display colors and tints and um, you can change your, your download timeout. I have mine set to 15 seconds, um, but as you guys seen it refreshed like 100 repos with no issue um, and a bunch of other really cool features. So we got Touring and we got Zebra. That is the combo for me. That is the dream combo currently and I think it's amazing. So that's the jailbreak setup. Let's get into the tweaks I'm running. And these do matter um, to me in this setup. So as you guys can probably tell, my, my iPhone is extra snappy. I can get around super quickly on this iPhone by opening and closing apps, even opening up multitasking or pulling over on uh, to the app library there. So first up, we got Anim Plus. This speeds up the animations on your device and I think it's super important here are my settings because I know people are gonna ask, they always do, and they always wanna see what settings I have. So these are the settings that I'm running for the springboard to make it as snappy as you guys are seeing. They're not sped up too fast to where it's looking glitchy, but it's borderline as fast as you can get. And I love that setup. I haven't done anything with app animations. That's all default. So Anim Plus is amazing. Now, one thing that's kind of weird to me when I'm bouncing around real quick like this and doing things extra fast um, is it, kind of feels weird but putting haptics onto a lot of this stuff really helps you get a tactile feedback for the speed i don't know how to explain this really but being sped up fast feels a little weird but when you have haptics that happen as well when you touch things and jump around quickly um it really it really makes it more um i don't know how to explain it it just it's more of a, a tactile feel as you're doing things really fast so haptic 14 is awesome as you can see, there's haptic strengths and you can adjust a bunch of other things here with where you want to feel these haptic feedbacks. Super cool tweak. We got Jelly Lock Reborn. This is still kind of being developed. It's a little wonky on my Tennis Max, but you can just jump to an application. As you guys can see from the lock screen, you can customize the icon. I got the Touch ID. I think it looks cool. You can just boom, bada bing, jump into stuff as you guys can see. But if you go slow, it can be a little bit wonky. As you can see, that kind of went the wrong way. Like I said, it's still kind of being developed and worked on, but still, Jelly Lock Reborn is a really cool tweak. We got Latus. This is to customize the keyboard. I love having custom keyboards. This is by, um, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Polyphian. I think that's how you say it. Uh, but he has some amazing keyboards on his repo, and I love using the Product Red re uh, keyboard with the Latus tweak. Basically lets you customize the, uh, the keyboard on your device. Let me go ahead and switch this back to dark mode. So latest, and then we got Magma Evo. I'm not even using that yet. I just have it here. Uh, it allows you to colorize the icons and stuff in Control Center. Haven't adjusted that yet, just downloaded it. I think like maybe an hour and a half ago. Haven't made any edits yet, but I am using Prism. Prism is absolutely amazing. That's my Control Center. I think that the stock control center is stupid. I think that Apple needs to get rid of that. I think it's very inconvenient, especially on like the 12 Pro Max to have to basically reach all the way up to the right corner to open control center is seriously a waste of time. And it's not even possible one-handed. Well, you can, but you literally have to like have your hand halfway up the phone to get to it. So having Prism is amazing basically just redesigns control center. We got quit all. This is a handy tweak as well. Just open up multitasking. You can clear everything from multitasking with that button. We got settings buttons. These are new. Um, a couple of buttons in settings there to change from light to dark mode. You can put your device into safe mode from here and you can perform a re respring from there as well. Uh, another tweak, and I think this is from the same developer, um, if I tap my status bar, it'll show my battery life. I thought that that was kind of cool. Current battery is at 30%. I just tap the status bar and then you tap anywhere else to make it go away. Um, and then we got shuffle. Uh, shuffle basically allows you to have a banner image in settings, allows you to have sections for tweaks. Super important to me to have shuffle because coming into settings to adjust tweaks makes getting to the tweaks so much better. and I think that settings is overall um, a lot more organized with shuffle. We got snowboard so that I can 
use custom themes. As you guys can see, I'm using a Leto dock. I'm using the theme kind of stock, and that's basically it on this iPhone so far. So snowboard and the snowboard extensions, super cool. Spring to my 5 is amazing. It's a Swiss Army knife tweak. Uh, you can just make a ton of different adjustments to many, many different things on your iPhone with Spring to my 5. I'll probably be doing a standalone review of that tweak here soon. I also got Velvet because I love how Velvet makes my notifications look. And for those of you that are always trying to figure out how I do that with Velvet, I'll go into it. So we'll go to lock screen notifications. I change it to classic. As you can see, there's images there. Um, and these are all the settings. So if you guys want your Velvet to look the same as mine, these are the settings. That's it, okay? So that's what I have for Velvet. And actually for, for banner notifications, I have the same set up as Notification Center if we run a test. As you can see, that's what my banner notifications look like. I think Velvet looks awesome. So that's more of a, a look kind of thing, more than functionality. And then we do have uh, Zen HTML, so I can use widgets like this one on the home screen. This one's from my repo if you guys want it. I'll leave the widget name in the description as well. So that's basically everything in settings. Um, and like I said, this combination of tweaks is amazing. I'm going to cover a couple other things yet though that I think you guys should know about. So if we go into my other section here, as you can see, I have a few other things. Uh, so first off is crashed. And like I said, Taurine with Zebra and this setup that I'm running, freaking phenomenal. This is the only crash I've had in three days. And it's just a background process. And it, it killed because it um, exceeded the JetSAM memory limit, which I believe that's Taurine um, that has the JetSAM memory limit. So literally one crash with all of these tweaks in the last two to three days. Freaking amazing, but Crashed is a good app to have so you can see what's crashing. Next, and I find this to be super useful, is Drain. So if we go into Drain, pretty much it's gonna give you every little detail about your battery. It can also let you know what tweak is causing your battery to drain faster than it should. So this is the first page here. You get a bunch of useful information. Um, I'll probably do a standalone video on this as well in the future. You can see there's your discharge cycles, time left. There's there's health, as you guys can see, my battery is at 105%. And that's because I put a bigger battery in here than Apple wants you to. Um, and that's why I get this message. For people that are asking why I have this message right there, important battery message, it's because I'm using an unsupported battery for, from a third party source than an Apple battery. But like I said, I got it because it has a, a a bigger capacity than what Apple offers. So that's why my battery health is at 105%. But that's a good you know, thing to notice here is in settings, I can't tell what my health is, but in this app, I can see what my battery health is. Super important. And then we have statistics here. So it lets you know how much of your battery has been draining. Uh, this will give you averages. So as time goes on, this graph will update. As you can see, my battery drain is way down. So. The battery life on this setup is phenomenal. So drain, very cool. We got files, uh, file browsing throughout all of iOS, amazing. iCleaner, of course, needed to make your jailbreak run smoother. Get rid of unused dependencies and other junk you don't need in your iPhone. We got terminal, so that way if I want to update my jailbreak or my Taurine jailbreak, I can do it right from here, which is awesome if you guys haven't seen how to do that. Uh, that was in the last Taurine update video. Super cool. You can update the jailbreak from Terminal, and I think that's awesome. We got nonce set 143, so I can save blobs for this device. And that's basically everything. That's everything I got on this iPhone. And like I said, it's an amazing setup so far with the tweaks. It runs super smooth. It's fast. It's snappy. There's tactile feedback. I think it looks pretty cool. Of course, I can get a little bit more crazy with themes and icon layout and stuff like that, but this is just the start. This is what I find to be super functional in a jailbreak and how I like my iPhone setup. Uh, but like I said, I'll leave everything I mentioned listed in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more tweak videos, check out the best tweaks playlist I have in the description. I've covered a ton. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.